Hey everyone, Girl Meets Pixels here and welcome back to my channel and yes, welcome back guys. I have not uploaded a real, real video of me just sitting here and talking to you guys in forever. I mean, I've had some minor videos here and there, but yeah, anyways, I am back. I am ready to get back into posting and I'm trying to get back into uploading daily and fingers crossed that I can do it. Fingers crossed guys. Anyways, today I am doing a current household. I have been super behind on these, but that does not mean I have not been working on them. I just have been playing off camera like I normally do with my current households and just trying to play catch up basically. Uh, I have had a couple of live streams where I've played this family and uh, decorated their house a couple of times. And so it took me forever to decorate because they did move. Yay. Woo woo. So this family today that we are doing is the Cooper family. If you've never seen one of my current households before, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend going and checking out the playlist. It will be linked down below in the description bar and going and checking out at least part of this family. Um, all my current households are based off of the same family and they are all aunts and uncles and siblings of each other. So this is, I play each and every single part of the family and then I update you guys with the current household. So if you've never seen one of my current households before, I definitely recommend just going and checking it out, maybe reading up on them, whatever. I have a bunch of stuff either on my Tumblr and here on YouTube of their story basically. So I will link all that good information down below in the description bar. Also, just a little disclaimer before we jump in. It is so windy outside. It has been windy all day and I've been wanting to film and oh, it gets really windy. I don't even know if you guys can hear it or not. I don't know if my mic will pick it up or not, but it has been so windy today that we've had everything. Everything's been getting broken around town. We've had 100 mile per hour winds. It's been crazy, guys. It's been crazy. So just bear with me with that. Let's just all pretend it's not there. I'll try to like overlay some music so you guys can't like hear it really, but <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Anyways, so we are with the Cooper family and my game might be a little laggy just because I just loaded it up, but it's all good. Uh, so with the Cooper family, um, like I said, I have shown this family before. So this is just an update. Basically, this is not a new quote unquote new uh, current household. Anyways, uh, the family is still here in the world of Pleasant Isle. They have lived here for a while after they moved here from Lucky Palms. As you can see, it is very foggy. It's spring for them, almost summer, which I'm really excited about because I feel like it's been winter like the entire time I've been playing this family in Pleasant Isle, but it's all good. Anyways, so yeah, they are still in Pleasant Isle, but they moved basically across the island to a different neighborhood. I don't know. I just felt like it was time for a change. Plus the house that they were living in was getting way too small. They needed some more room and I felt like this house was perfect for them, especially with like their growing family. And they have so many big dogs that like they just needed a place that was, uh, you know, big enough. They needed a bigger backyard and all that good stuff. Anyways, I'm going to turn on all the lights. It is still like six o'clock in the morning for them. So pretty early, but I'm going to give you guys a tour of the house first. So this is the little walkway entryway, and this is super cute. A lot of you guys helped me, or I mean, you guys saw on my live stream, you guys helped me decorate their house. And then I finally went in and recolored everything and made everything look all cute. Um, it's still a work in progress. Nothing is completely finalized yet, but it's all good. It works for now. Um, over here is just some more entryway stuff. There's toys everywhere dog toys, baby toys, kid toys. It's all over the place. Kind of messy. They need to clean it up a bit. It's all good though. Um, over here is like their living room. There's a play area for the kids. And then there's also a doggy bed. Cause like I said, they have a three dogs. Definitely need the space for those dogs. And then over here is like their little living room TV area above the TV has their last name Cooper. And then there's also this photo, which I based the entire room color scheme off of off of this photo. I think it's super cute. Um, over here, they have like this cute like little picture frame that shows like their honeymoon. They went to Egypt and actually like cycles through. It's like a slideshow. See, look, look how cute. And it's all pictures I think Madeline took. So yeah, pretty cute. Anyways, this is their little area and I like love these cushions. I think they're so cute. I, I don't know. I just love it all. I love it. Uh, over here is the kitchen and dining area. And like I said, I'm so sorry. I have not like filmed in forever. And so my computer is probably going to freak out at me. 
Um, over here is the kitchen and I love this. The kitchen turned out so much better than I thought it would. <laughs> I struggled for the longest time to figure out like what I wanted to do. I went and searched on Pinterest and finally found some like inspiration photos. So I was thankful for Pinterest. Um, but it's really adorable. I think it's really cute and I don't know. I think I really like how it turned out. I try to make these shelves like look good. They're kind of sad looking. We're just gonna pretend they, they look good. Over here is the dining area. This is like their original table and stuff, but I just repainted it. Yo, hey. Um, which is something like people do in real life all the time, you know? And then over here is like this area is still pretty plain over here. I'm not finished decorating to be quite honest. Like I just kind of threw everything together and was like, okay, I just want to play them finally. So I kind of just threw everything together. So there's still stuff I'll add and they still have so much money. Oh my goodness. I tried to get a try to get rid of some of the money and I couldn't. So over here is their downstairs bathroom. And this I got completely off of Pinterest. Like I'll show you guys a close up of it. I'm pretty proud of it. I don't know why. I just think it's super cute. So I'm like, I'm all for it. So this shower idea was from Pinterest and I thought it was super cute. This like this like uh, a graphic tile or like a pattern tile and then has like this wood on the outside and I don't know I just thought it was so cute and it has like this pop of green which this is Madeline's favorite color is like this lime green color so I don't know I thought it was pretty cute <laughs> I don't know I thought it was I don't know I don't know I'm lame like that I think it's like so fun to do stuff like that uh, anyways and then over here in this little area is a guest bedroom um, I do have some mods where I can send sims from different saves over to other save files. I'm not going to fully like explain all that right now, but I might have a tutorial on it uh, maybe in the future. But this is for when people come and stay with them or if their friends stay the night or whatnot. This is the guest bedroom. I thought it'd be more fun to do something different than like I normally do. Kind of make it more realistic. I don't know. I'm lame like that. Even if they never use it, I still think it's cute. <laughs> I still think it's really cute. So this is the bedroom. Everything is based off of that photo. I think it's super adorable, super bright and colorful. Over here is the dresser. Ooh, that glitch, that lagginess though, killing me, you're killing me. Um, but yeah, I thought it was cute. I think the bedspread's pretty too. It's just very like neutral and fun. It's a cute guest room. Uh, and then you head on upstairs and you have like this little walk area. This is still a huge work in progress, so just, <laughs> don't mind the ugliness basically um over here we have Ezra's room super tiny um I, I want to expand eventually I think I might expand out a little bit this way I don't know yet I'll figure it out um this used to be one room I think and I split it off so I feel like it worked better that way anyways this is his nursery uh he's still going to be in here for a little while so it works uh and yeah it just kind of has like a fox natural theme went off this photo uh, and then over here is their workout room both of them are very physical and very active so they need a workout room and I mean she, Madeline's a retired sports star so she loves to work out and she works out daily so I mean I wish I could oh I forgot to recolor that oh okay um, but it has like the flooring that's like cushy I don't know what to like call that like it's like cushioned I guess <laughs> it's like squishy I guess um, yeah, and then over here, just like a little deck has nothing on it. Over here is their master bedroom where Madeline is sleeping. And it's a little more eclectic than their normal style. And honestly, to be quite honest, these are my favorite part of the entire room. These lamps right here. I think they're so cute. I don't know why. I'm just in love with the lamps. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It was a different style than they normally go with. But I really like it personally. I think it's super cute. Very different. And over here is like Madeline stuff from like college and her sports star days and yeah over here is their bathroom which i kind of actually really hate um oh he's going to the bathroom i hate this bathroom i think it's ugly <laughs> um but i don't know i'll probably fix it up eventually over here is uh, a deck that they have and this is madeline's yoga mat so she can come out here and do yoga which is super cool she gets an awesome view and i think it's cool Oh, it is windy though. And then there's another floor. Yes, that's right. There's a third floor. Nothing in this walkway, like this little hallway, empty, just lights. That's it. Uh, over here, we have Peyton's room. And this is a room that she can definitely grow up with. It's not too little girlish and it's not too like old or mature for her. 
And this is a painting that they had in their office and I just moved it up to here and kind of based it around this. It's a little bit more eclectic and I don't know. It's just different than their normal style. I think it's super cute. She also has this bed and I love, love, love the wood on it. And then over here she has her own desk. And I think these lights right here are super cute above the little bookshelf. Oh, so cute. I don't know. I think they're fun. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And then across the way, um, I split this room up. This used to be one huge room. And I was like, nah, -uh. actually it was a bathroom, one huge bathroom. And I was like, <laughs> no, nah, we good. Uh, so over here we have the office and this is mostly, uh, the room that Derek uses. That's his name, right? Yeah, Derek. I don't know why I was like, what's his name though? And Derek uh, is in the police or the law enforcement career field. So he has to do a lot of like reports and stuff and all that good stuff. So that's why there's like that file there. This is mostly like the room that he uses and has like a, it's very plain right now to be quite honest. I'll eventually make it look better. And then we have just a simple little bathroom. Nothing too crazy honestly. Um, some green counters again. I had a lot of fun like coloring the counters. I don't know. Uh, and then I'm going to let it play because they're just all getting ready for the morning. Then they have this really awesome backyard that it used to exit out right here. This little area used to be over here. I switched it around, put a little sand pit for them. There's a little fire pit. Um, they have a ping pong table. They have a pool. Yeah, that's right. I added a pool because uh, their old house had it. And I was like, oh, they need a pool. So I added a pool. And, and I love it. I think the patio area is so cute. I love it. Um, this is super adorable. This little dining set. They can grill out here and lounge in the summer. Even a dog house with some food out here. Uh, and then they also have their garage. There's their boat out here. And then the Madeline's Lexus. And we have a dog cleaner thingy over here. Oh, and then here's their golf all the way over here. And then finally we have Peyton's uh, lemonade stand. She has not gone to use yet because uh, it's just been very cold and uh, it snowed a couple times in the springtime for them. And it's just been very rainy too. But yeah, she has her own little lemonade stand. I really want her to use it. Uh, anyways, that's kind of it for the house. <laughs> that took me forever to explain. Uh, real quick, I'm just going to go over the family. Um, let's see. We have Derek here. I'm going to multitask it. I'm going to have him come down here and put Ezra in the high chair. Uh, Derek here has 14 days until he ages into an elder. Oh my gosh, guys. Everyone is getting so old and I'm going to like die inside because like, oh, he's going to be an old man. It's so sad. Uh, he is a level eight in the law enforcement career. He's a special agent now. So now he has like secret missions and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, and we're gonna give him some baby food and he's gonna grab some food for himself. He'll just have some white bread, I guess. Um, but yeah, so he uh, just recently got promoted, but he's already doing pretty well. I even went into my story progression settings and made it so it'd be harder for him to level up. And I feel like it was easier. So I need to go in and fix that. I need to look at that again. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. He's just been um, trying to make some more friends, trying to get to know his partner better. He's a very social person, so. He's been doing that. Um, then we have Madeline over here and I need to change her like, uh, pajamas. I don't know like why I had her in this, this is not her style at all, but I mean, Hey, they cute though. Um, uh, Madeline here has 18 days until she ages into an elder. Oh my goodness. She's going to have like a toddler. He'll be like a child. He'll be like a child and a half. He'll be like half a child and she'll age up into an elder. Like, oh my gosh. And I was like thinking of them. I was like, maybe they'll have another baby. Then I was like, nah, they're getting pretty old. <laughs> getting pretty old. Um, I'm going to have her come take a shower though. And then she'll go eat soon. Anyway, so she um, quit her career. I don't know if she had, I think she'd quit in, in the last one, last update. Uh, she quit her career because she actually kept rolling the want to quit her job. And so I was like, okay, she already has, you know, gone to her lifetime wish. I guess it's time. Um, oh, is the school bus here? Yeah, I'm going to pause real quick. Uh, but now she, she actually rolled the want to join the photographer's career, which is um, a custom career mod that I have with um, my Inras mods. And so right now she's mama paparazzi, which I think is so cute. And she's actually pretty close to leveling up. But she makes, you know, a couple, a little bit of money, a little extra money. It's more like a hobby. And she just goes around and takes photos. I think there's some in her camera view photos. Yeah, there's like this one. 
They went to the beach. I thought these were pretty cute. Maybe we'll like frame them or something. I don't know yet, but she's just kind of been working on her photography skill. I feel like it's something new for her to try. Uh, and that's kind of it with Madeline. Uh, with Peyton real quick before she goes to school. <laughs> Definitely how I uh, used to look going to school. I gotta get a photo. That's too cute. Oh my gosh. Same though. Uh, so Madeline, or not Madeline, Peyton, you guys remember, is grumpy. So she's actually pretty grumpy right now. She doesn't want to go to school. She just wants to go back to bed and sleep and whatnot. But like seriously, look at how cute her outfit is. The little banana play suit though. I am dying. It's too cute. She has five days until she's a teenager. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, it's so crazy to me. I feel like she just aged up to a child, but yeah, five days until she's a teenager. And I'm really excited to see how she's going to look. So far, she takes a lot more after her dad, but I don't know. I feel like she might have a little bit of Madeline in there. Um, she's a straight A student. She's even on the honor roll. She's doing pretty well. And today we're actually going to have her uh, throw a sleepover because she's been wanting to for like the longest time. Uh, so I'm gonna have her do that. Uh, is he off to work? Perfect, okay. So Madeline's gonna come downstairs. Oh, he's off. I don't know why he's wearing that outfit unless he's like undercover right now or something. Um, she's gonna eat some food too, some plum pancakes. And then lastly, we have little Ezra here who I gave a different hairstyle to because I felt like it fit him better. He's so cute though, <laughs> he's so adorable. So he has nine days until he ages up and he's just been chilling. We need to work on his skills some more and everything with walking and talking. But for the most part, like he's such a good toddler. He's pretty behave, well behaved and he's cute. I really, I really love him. He's adorable. Oh, look it. We got little Ollie bringing the newspaper uh, and we're going to have her talk to her friends. Um, we also have Penny, who's over here. If you guys remember, she's the offspring of Ollie and Georgie. Penny is kind of like uh, Peyton's dog, and she always sleeps up here. A like, automatically, she just always goes to this bed. It's not like I can assign, you know, beds for the dogs. But Penny almost always sleeps in this bed, and I think it's so cute. Uh, and then we also have Georgie. When do they even age up? Oh, my gosh. 11 days. <gasps> and Ollie has five. Uh, that makes me so sad. Oh my goodness. Uh, and Georgie stinks. So we have this pet hygienator, which came from their uh, lifetime reward points. And so they can just come out here and wash themselves. I love it because now they don't have to wash their dogs all the time. It got so frustrating. So yeah, anyways, that's what's been going on with the Cooper family. They've been kind of busy and I've been playing them for the past couple weeks. Uh, kind of taking my time with them, finishing up their house and everything, of course. So it's been good though. It's been good. Uh, so we're just going to play through the day. Oh, I should have had Peyton schedule the party before she left. That's okay. Okay, so we're going to clean this up. And I think we're going to work with Ezra today and really just work on his skills. Because I don't even think he's learned anything. I don't think he knows how to do anything. <laughs> so let's start teaching him how to talk. I think that'd be a good thing to do. Um, we really still need to potty train him, all that stuff. Uh, and then also, um, oh yeah, Madeline's been rekindling her friendship with Ashley McCarter, uh, and she's actually having a baby. And she's not that much younger than Madeline, so that's pretty crazy. And they already have like a bunch of kids already too. Um, they've also been getting to know some other people, so that's been nice. They're, I'm just trying to have them make more friends because they need to. <laughs> they have like no friends whatsoever, which is like most of my Sims usually. They don't ever really go out or talk to people or I can't help it. It's just, you know, it's relatable to my life. <laughs> Aw, cute. Oh, she's like upset. Also, I really like this outfit, or not this outfit. Well, I do like this outfit, but I like this hairstyle from Madeline with the bangs. I think it's super cute. Oh, see, it's rainy. All it ever does is rain here in Pleasant Isle, which is actually very fitting for the type of biome that it is. Like it really just honestly makes sense. Okay, so I'm just going to fast forward a bit. Uh, Derek, he'll be home at 2, and Peyton will be home at 3. And like I said, I want her to throw a slumber party. I think that'll be a lot of fun. And they actually recently just started, not started, they recently threw a party. I think it was the day before. Uh, they threw a party and got to know some people. So that was really fun. And there'll be photos at the end of this current household. You guys will get to see all the cute photos of like their parties and all the stuff that they've been up to. 
So I'm really excited to show you guys that. Uh, but yeah, it's just so rainy. I want them to go be able to be, like play outside or stuff like that, and they can't because... Oh, is she digging a hole? Oh my gosh, Georgie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Usually she's not a troublemaker. I don't know why she's doing that. What's Ollie doing? He's gonna come out. Oh, he's gonna come out here and nuzzle her. Oh, and one of you guys, I was live streaming. You guys were like, Penny looks like a Scooby Doo. And like, oh my gosh, she totally does though. Like she genuinely looks like Scooby Doo. <laughs> Did one of them pee or is that from it being like, they were like wet and they had to, I don't know. I'm going to have her stop teaching him how to talk. We're going to come up up this puddle. And I think we're going to clean this up. Like there's toys everywhere. So I think we need to do that. Oh, I could just click put away toys. That probably would be smarter. Okay. Oh, Ezra is so cute. I cannot wait to see what he looks like. I mean, and as you guys know, he's like a little redhead. So the fact that like they're all brunette, this is passed down from his grandma, Tegan. Uh, which he's never met because she passed away. <sighs> Rest in peace. Anyways, so uh, she had red hair and it got passed down. Um, it skipped over Madeline and got passed down to her grandson, which I think is just so cool. Uh, okay, free game. The stadium has provided the school with a handful of free tickets to an upcoming game. Students who take advantage of this opportunity will receive a boost to their school performance. Get to the stadium before the game ends and your grades will surely improve. Yeah, why not? A free game? That sounds great. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Derek's athleticism out on the beat has attracted the eyes of the scouting agent for the local pro sports franchise, and they are offering him a spot on the team. The offer position is superstar, level 9 in the professional sports career. Should Derek leave his current position, special agent? Nah, he likes his job. Oh, I was about to click the wrong one. He's gonna keep his job. I know he really enjoys it. Okay, let's come over here and mop up the puddles because there's like freaking puddles all over the place. Madeline changed her outfit because of it. Be barked at, be sniffed. That's so random. Like, that's just so random. <laughs> okay, I'm just, I want Peyton to come home so we can't, wait, does she have, I was like, watch her have her study club after school, but she doesn't, so we, we're good. <laughs> we're all good in the neighborhood. Oh, she like stuck. What's going on? <gasps> Darn it. Oh, I should have taken him to the bathroom or to the little potty chair. Ooh, 2,000 simoleons. Yeah, Derek makes some pretty good money. Like they need it at all. I mean like, oh, they have so much money. I don't know how to get rid of it. I'm kind of tempted to send them on a vacation soon and have them buy like a vacation home or something like that so that they can get rid of all this money because they have way too much. Uh, let's come over here and change his dirty diaper and let's, let's also spend some time with him. Let's attack him with the claw. I love that interaction, I think it's so cute. Oh, <laughs> he's so adorable. Okay, uh, is Derek Combe? He is, oh, as my game freezes, all the dogs are waiting for him. They just knew that he was going to be home. Okay, I'm going to have him come upstairs and take a shower because he needs one. And let's see, what's he want to do? What's this say? Tickle Ezra. Oh, that'd be cute. We'll have him do that. I want him to go on a jog, but it keeps raining like every single day for them. So I'm just like, <laughs> rather not. Oh, no, don't go outside. Don't go outside. It's like so rainy. Okay, Peyton's on her way home, so that is good. Get attention from dad. Oh my gosh, that's funny. I'm going to lock that in. Um, but yeah, so she's going to throw like a little summer party. Like as soon as she gets here, I'm going to have it start like as soon as possible. Um, whenever she gets here. Oh, and then I think they have bills that they need to pay. So I'll have Derek go do that. He's going to pay the bills and get some mail. Also, he's a good person, so he always likes to donate Let's donate to Social Bunnies United. We'll donate a thousand simoleons. That's something he always likes to do. Um, he always does that. So, and then when he's done, we'll have him come tickle Ezra. Oh, that'd be so cute. Oh, whoops. Oh, Ezra's too fast. He's crawling too fast. There we go. Uh, so we'll come tickle him. Tickle. Oh, so cute. What is she doing? Oh, yay. Peyton's home. Okay, let's have her throw a party like ASAP, like right now. <laughs> Slumber party, what, what? Okay, awesome, yay, okay. Slumber party will start at six. 
Okay, the Grodiak Institute for Advanced Athletic Achievement congratulates you, Madeline Cooper, for achieving the very highest level of excellence in your athletic endeavors. Please accept this handsomely framed certificate and display it with pride, knowing others will see just how skilled you are. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Ashley McCarter sent Derek a letter that says, I find you attractive, but couldn't tell you in person. Yeah, um, let's just stay away from her. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Aw, and he spend time. Uh, let's have him work on teaching Ezra how to walk. And where's she at? She's just spending time with the dogs, which I think is cute. Okay. Is she cleaning up? Oh my goodness. Oh, she's gonna go clean the toilet? Oh, she like never does that. She's like such a well-behaved kid. Oh my goodness. Yay, the first guest has arrived. Oh no, she broke the toilet. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, let's come over here. Oh, she has her PJs on. Um, we'll go tell her a joke. She does have a good sense of humor. She's really good at being funny. She gets that from her dad. Her dad's just like that too. Okay, does she have her pajamas on yet? Oh no, she has her outerwear, which I think is super cute. It's a really adorable outerwear. Oh, I cannot believe that she's going to be a teenager, though. That is, like, so crazy to me. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go inside, though, because it's, like, cold. Yes, yeah, 30 degrees. Let's go inside. Okay, she's going to put on her... Oh, there we go. She's got some PJs on. Let's call over her friend. Oh, maybe she'll come on. What? 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 <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, we'll complain about the broken toilet. I want her friend to come inside. They're going to share a secret. Oh my gosh. Her friend will not come inside. That's fine. Whatever. Um, I think we're going to have Malin go start on dinner though. Let's make some stew surprise. I don't know what that is. Sounds pretty decent though. So I'll take it. And maybe I'll have Derek go on a run now. Does he have any reports that he can write on people? Because I know he needs to do that for work. Ooh, Matthew Luther. Yep. Go write a report, buddy. My favorite food is stew surprise. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. And we're making that for dinner. Oh, it's like we're making her favorite dinner. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, let's tell an inside joke. Oh, they're good friends, too. Um, friendly hug. She doesn't like that. Me, too. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not like a huggy person. Like a lot of people are like, oh, I just love giving hugs. Tell Maritza Beavers to kiss another sim. What? There's no one else to kiss though, so I can't. Uh, we'll chat with her though. Anyways, um, I'm not like a super like huggy person. Like I'm not really touchy. Like if you come up to me and hug me, like I'll hug you and everything. But like I'm not, I usually don't go out of my way to like hug people because I just, I don't know. I don't think about it. That's like totally not me. But like my mom is totally like a person like she just like hugs everyone. She always wants to just hug everyone. Even if it's like someone she just met. She's like, oh, let me give you a hug. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> I don't like hugs. I'm kidding. I don't like, I mean, I like hugs. But oh my gosh, why is he outside? Babies were the only word Ara Keats and Levi Keats could say when asked why they were beaming. Apparently, there's a new bundle of joy in their future. Oh, cute. That's some of their friends, which, yes, that is Levi Keats from my Showtime LP, who I placed in here and gave him a makeover. <laughs> it's chill, right? Okay, let's uh, call to meal guests, and um, we'll just have Peyton come grab a bowl. Um, Derek will come get a bowl in a second, but he really needs to work on those reports and he wants to meet someone new. So I say, sure. Sounds good. Okay. Finally, they're going to come inside, right? I like her little robot hat face thing. I don't know why she has that on and I don't think I've ever seen that before. Is it like a plumb bot? Is that what it's supposed to be? It's so cute. I really love it. Is that like her outerwear? Like, I just don't understand. Also, can we please go get the child that's sitting outside in 28-degree uh, weather with no coat on? <laughs> please? Go pick up Ezra. Oh, she's going to do the dishes first and then go pick up her son outside. I didn't know that he was outside. Like, I feel really bad. <laughs> I feel bad for the kid. Okay, and then we're going to also come put him in his high chair because he is hungry. Oh, my goodness. This is a pretty interesting sleepover. I'm kind of sad that uh, the other kid, Summer, didn't 
come over too, but that's okay. Um, but I think they'll come. Oh, they should have a pillow fight. <gasps> That'd be so much fun. Derek has, oh, blah, blah, blah. Derek has submitted a thorough report on Matthew Luther's activities, hobbies, and pastimes. Oh, cool. He's going to go grab a bowl. Awesome. Okay. And then, oh, they need to have a pillow fight. I think that'd be really cute. It's just in the kitchen. You know, it's chill. <laughs> it's chill. Um, ask to pillow fight. Because that's what you do at sleepovers, of course. Finally bringing her child in. And she wants to talk to Madeline as well. Are they going outside to have a pillow fight? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Makes sense. You know, I mean, it's chill, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I can't get over the robot head, guys. I really can't. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. Too adorable. Okay, and what's she doing? Oh, we need to feed Ezra. Oh, we did. Perfect. And we need to put dinner away. Anyways, I think I'm actually going to go and end this part here in this current household for you guys. Um, I had a lot of fun filming it. It's kind of like the first thing I've filmed since my little break. So it's been... It's been fun, guys. It's been fun. I definitely am getting back more into videos and all that. So do not worry. I just had to take a little break. If you're wondering why I had to take a little break, um, my most recent video will let you know why. But yeah, anyways, anyways, I'm going to pause. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you aren't already subscribed, make sure to click that button down below as well. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, guys.